Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to welcome family and friends to Gateway to College's 2018 graduation commencement. My name is Adam Kunz. I'm the program manager of Gateway to College. Before we hear about the great accomplishments of these graduates, I'd like to acknowledge and thank all of the people who have supported our students along the way. Tonight's ceremony is a celebration of the graduate success, but it's also a celebration of our collective encouragement for these young people. Thank you all. Now, graduates, I'd like to thank all of you. Gateway to College is an amazing school because of you. Tonight, we'll hear about the impact that you've made while you've been at Gateway to College, but I want you to make sure that you take away the fact that you are successful college students already. While you are here, You've proven that you have the ability to work harder than you thought you could. You've proven that it is possible to persevere when it would be much more comfortable for you to quit. Once again, thank you. It's been my pleasure to honor and guide you to your goal of being here tonight. First, I would like to welcome St. Paul College's president, Dr. Rasul Dasmos. Good evening, everybody. That's not convincing. Let's try it again. Good evening, everybody. That's better, that's better. You know what you're here for. You're not here to hear from me. You're here to celebrate our students. But look at you guys. Look at you guys. You look marvelous. I mean, I've seen all of you in the hallway, cafeteria. Let's give them a round of applause. Well, who is Joshua? Who is Joshua? Stand up. You have a lot of fans over there. So. So on behalf of St. Paul College family, we have about 13,000 students here and about 550 faculty and staff. I want to welcome you to St. Paul College. My congratulations to our future. You are indeed our future. You're going to pay for our social security. <laughs> in fact, I want to feel a lot better about it because five years ago when we floated the idea of a gateway to college, it took about five years, four years to get it going. But look at what has happened to it. We started with a meager number of what, 25 students? We're about 160 some. Graduating 52, 22 of you are going to come to school. How many of you earned college credits when you were going here? Raise your hand. Give them a round of applause. Now, here's the story. Now, I'm going to tell you something about that. I'm going to tell you something about it. That something is this nobody gives up on their students, nobody should. We never give up on these students. Look at what they've done. They exited high school, and what happened? They earned college credit. Did you think they could do it? They did it. They did it, so give them a round of applause. Now, this, work, this work would not be possible without the support of superintendent, board members, and the superintendent team. Moreover, a gateway to college team on campus. And they really rock. I mean, these guys put their arms around the students. They treat them just like their children, their siblings, their brothers and sisters. And that's what an encouraging thing happens. Success happens when you give a students hope. It goes also without saying that success would not be possible 
with support from our own staff. Some of them are standing back there, Sarah. Two Sarahs back there, by the way, first time. So raise your hand to be recognized. Most of these are students who will be going to the Power of You program, which is a tuition-free program. Who has heard of tuition-free program? You know, politicians are talking about it a lot these days, but we've had this since 2006. And those programs have helped the students to be successful. I want to welcome you to St. Paul College. This is your college. We are the campus of our own community. Uh, we are highly ranked in the country, twice ranked number one, ranked number nine, twice. But above it, we make a difference in the life of the students because if we do that, our community is better. If our community is better, we have a better tax base, less crime, less social ill, but better things for everybody. And that's what these young men and women are going to do for us. They're going to move forward. Some of them are going to join workforce. Some of them are going to come to St. Paul College. Some of them are going to go to four-year universities. But life is not about obtaining a degree. It's about how purposeful you are doing good for others. If you learn something in here, we took you in as who you were. We worked with you. We met you halfway in between. There were times we were harsh with you. We had to push you along. But you didn't have a detention hall, but we worked with you. We encouraged you. We heard your concerns. We heard your challenges. We removed those barriers for you so you could be successful. That's what success is about. Now, most of you are about 18 or 19. 12 years from now, the skills that you have, as a matter of fact, when you finish the school, college, your skills are obsolete. Your degree is obsolete the day you graduate. So you have to think about lifelong learning. This period of time at St. Paul College was your life cycle of learning. Get used to that term, that's your learning cycle. You were here for a couple of years, got your diploma, earned some college credit. It's not done yet. You have to move forward, take more credit. But I'm gonna give you some advice. By 2030, I might tell you the skills are required of you to be competitive. Judgment, decision making, fluency of ideas, active learning, learning strategies, originality, curiosity, creativity, being tech savvy, humility, contextual thinking. Now you cannot tell me there's a textbook here that you dealt with that taught you those things. You learn every one of those attributes through your interactions with the team and your friends and your peers. So focus on these things beyond your studies. You will be very successful. I want to welcome you. I want to congratulate you on your achievement. You have other people that are smarter than I am with a lot less problem who are going to give you more advice. I have to step out to a board meeting, but I'll come back to celebrate your graduation. I am delighted you're here. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud to see so many faces that are so happy today. So congratulations. You deserve the best. Thank you. I would like to invite uh, to the podium St. Paul Public Schools Chief Operations Officer Jackie Turner. Thank you and good evening. Um, I bring you greetings this evening on behalf of Superintendent Dr. Joe Gothard, as well as the rest of St. Paul Public Schools administration. And I want to first say thank you to the parents, aunties and uncles, grandparents and community members that have helped these students get across this stage at this point. I know, I, I just graduated a, a son of my own and I know how much support it took for me and, and his village to get him across that stage. And so, these students don't do it, didn't do it alone. And so first of all, I want to acknowledge and thank the parents and many um, supporters that are out here. To the graduates of the Gateway to College program, this program is very um, special to me for two reasons. Um, Dr. Raju talked about um, several years ago when it was just an idea. I was a part of that team thinking through this idea and how it would work. And to see you 52 here, this is the first time I've had the opportunity to, uh, to participate in Gateway to College graduation, so I'm so honored. But to see you 52 here, um, know 
it, um, special to me because it was just literally an ideal in our, in our minds a few years ago. Um, we questioned and wondered as an administration team what would happen if we sent and spent um, high school students on college campus. Would the college students that are currently here accept them? Would the high school students behave? Would they know how to get to class? We had all these wonderings, what if, what if, what if? And you have proven everything wrong, everything right. You've done everything right. You've gotten here. The students um, come and they acclimate to the, the climate that's here and the atmosphere is here. And you've made us proud as St. Paul Public Schools Administration. You have earned college credits. And the second thing I'd like to um, encourage you, remind you, that a number of you are here because it just didn't work out at a regular St. Paul public high school, the comprehensive high school. So this, this graduation, we have thousands of students graduating throughout the district over the next week. But what makes you 52 so special is that you went up and beyond. And when things weren't working out, and when you, someone may have said it's not going to work out for you, you pressed on. And you moved on. And you decided to apply and come to a different program. So I, I want you to take that away as you move on into life. Whenever someone tells you you can't, know that you can. And you should move on. Because if you hadn't moved on, some of you may have been dropped out, you may have done other things, but you took the step to apply, you took the step to come to class, you took the step to get to this point, so now you know that regardless of what happens in life, you can make it. So I just want to encourage you and yeah. On behalf of St. Paul Public Schools and Administration, congratulations, do well, and we wish you all the best. Tonight's student speakers are each recipients of Gateway to College's Compass Award, an award given to the graduates who most embody Gateway's four virtues, hard work, attendance, perseverance, and growth. Please welcome our first speaker, Justin Marshinki. I did it, we did it. Oh my gosh, this is kind of crazy, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Adam. Um, my name is Justin T. Marshinki, and I'm so grateful to be speaking in front of you all this evening. Um, it has been a bumpy educational road without dedication and perseverance. I would not be standing here in front of you all today. I want to thank the Gateway staff, St. Paul College community, my family, and my friends for the inspiration and motivation to pursue and further my education. Mm. The greatest lesson I have learned here at Gateway is asking for help when needed and utilizing the resources that are available to me. Because of the opportunities available and great support, I'm looking forward to coming back or continuing my education and pursuing pipe fitting at St. Paul College in the fall. Um, an OG once told me, or a parent of a friend of mine once told me, as we grow up, as, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As we grow up, as we grow up, we're going to be hit with a whole lot of curveballs, and life's going to hit us real hard. You know, sometimes it's going to feel like we're getting punched, kicked, and all that. But we got to stay strong and persevere through all that, you know. Um, as we grow up, people going to pass away. People might get locked up, you know. Friends going to get married, going to have babies. You might break an arm, break a leg, you know, car going to break down. Whatever the case may be, you need to stay strong, have a vision for yourself. Tackle your vision and um, paint it vividly, you know? Say so dream. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've been bouncing around schools to schools. I've been to like seven high schools. 
throughout my high school career. But uh, I'm glad to be graduating here with the Gateway to College 2018 graduate. Shout out to them. Clap it up, give it up to them. But again, though, it's a blessing to be here in front of all y'all, speaking in front of all of you. Um, having you here witness me give my diploma along with my peers, it's a pleasure. Thank you for all the support that came out tonight. It's well appreciated. Um, oh, and I, I'm honored, Adam and Gateway, to be receiving my Compass Award, okay? I appreciate it. Congratulations to all the graduates tonight. Thank you. Next, please welcome Andres Montero. graduation ceremony from Guerrero College. It is such a pleasure to share an intensely emotional feeling in this auditorium as you who are graduating close to the chapter of the life story. Parents, you are probably wondering where the years have gone as you model of your sons and daughters' accomplishments. It doesn't seem that long ago where the young adults they started their journey. Of course, living through this year between the beginning and graduation may have seemed like it, an eternity for the student and for some parents as well. Some parents are, as well. Many people say that today is the, the day we start our journey. I disagree. The journey began a long time ago. Today it just happens to be the day where the path we have been traveling on display. I mean, be traveling on, on explaining to 275 million roads. Up until now, we have been a team working as one. We have done it all, and we have done it together. Gateway College has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, wherever it, wherever it may hold. These past years have involved some of the most memorable and foolish moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here are unique. But together, we share common bond as member of the Complo 2017-2018, and soon to be to be the graduates of first up uh, to be the graduates of um, Gateway College at St. Paul College. I feel we excitement and anticipation at the next stage in my life is about to begin. However, however, without um, without the support of our parents and our guardians. As staff and our teachers, we may not have made it to these days. Uh, I was born in Dominican Republic and partially raised in Kingston, Jamaica. And I realized that me being a student from another country in the United States, things were going to be harder for me because I had to learn how things move in the US and how a school system worked. Honestly, I felt in many things, and I felt in, I felt in many things. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> I felt I felt many uh, I felt many times on things that were really challenging, but I also never give up on my dreams because this is my dream. Uh, this is my dream, a dream full of challenges that I had to battle with, a dream that I will never give up on. Life, life is not easy, but we, should give in, give, we shouldn't give up when we should keep going. Once upon a time, one of my friends told me that if life wouldn't be easy, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be fun. His name is Shaka, he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> and since each challenge teaches a lesson that we must learn to succeed, 
Life took me an unexpected journey where I had to be away from my family, but we must go on because life goes on. Sometimes nothing goes as planned. Life brings challenges that might hurt you unexpectedly deep inside, but you must keep trying because you don't know what has to be waiting for you around the corner or across the ocean. I was always thinking about that. It just makes it twice as hard. You should leave it, feel it, taste it, feel it, believe it, because if you can do that, you can see, can leave in your head. But deciding what you really want to be, I could leave footprints all over the city, from Dominican Republic and Jamaica. This is me, Andres, just a young kid with a sense of direction, chasing my, chasing my dream, and stuck in between the past and the future. I'm searching for my, for my yesterday, and I wake up tomorrow, Back in the days, I was living with my family, and I left them across the ocean. So I began the search of my journey in the United States. Being away from my family hurts me deep inside because it wasn't expected. But life, but life goes on, right? <laughs> Leaving the country for another country shows heart. While it's durable, our broken memories, culture first theories, culture first theories. Sunshine, friends, and family. That's what I got left behind. That's what I got left behind. While life goes on, I was always used to moving around a lot, so nothing, nothing seemed unexpected. I felt normal in a normal conditions, situation, and we can't easily go forward without the feeling of looking back, you get where you're going. Going and on and on in this journey to greatness, doing what I love, is studying, enjoying company. When I reach my dream, it won't be surprising because it's what I have waited for. Wake up, waking up 6 a.m. so I take the bus to school and I review my homework before my class at 8 o'clock. Blah, blah, blah. All this routine keeps me going with inspiration that I have, that I have, have, I have for helping my family. I have begun to appreciate time and its relevance. I cannot, now, I can now appreciate the patience. There's a virtual call. I think things will come to us even when more things around. Um, things will come to those who work for it. Thank you guys. My appreciation for being here tonight. Welcome School Board Director Mary Vanderwerk for a greeting and the conferring of the diplomas. to recognize these amazing graduates from, from the uh, Board of Education, from the St. Paul School District, from the City of St. Paul, we just want to say congratulations. You, you rock. <laughs> you, you really are extraordinary. You have overcome many challenges and that others have not. And not only have you survived, but you've thrived. You've learned that being a part of this caring, supportive team is part of the magic we're all feeling tonight. It just feels wonderful to be here with you. So um, this is what we're celebrating tonight, everybody. Uh, the students before you, the ones wearing white cords, have earned more than 10 college credits at Gateway to College. <laughs> Together, these graduates have earned uh, 793 college credits. Did you hear that? 793. And you heard uh, 22 of them will be coming back to St. Paul College in the fall, and 38 of them will be going on to other colleges next fall. <laughs> And 
one of these students will graduate with an associate's degree as well as his high school diploma. <laughs> to this evening. I hope, um, I hope they have helped you to understand what's really important in life and that they have made you stronger. Um, you are resilient and courageous. You are strong and smart and competent. So when you encounter the challenges you will undoubtedly face in the future, remember what you've learned here about problem solving, about time management, about um, about working with others, about critical thinking, and about communication. You will not over, only overcome those struggles, but you will soar. So in your learning, I expect you may, may have also learned that we're living in interesting times in this world, and that we definitely need your talent and your skills. Um, your innovative thinking, your wisdom, and your determination will always be an inspiration. Don't ever hesitate to share those freely. The possibilities are out there are great. We know you're going to be great too. We really can't wait to see what you accomplish in the next five years, ten years, and beyond. And we are so glad that you and your parents have chosen St. Paul Public Schools as your educational partner. Parents, thank you for choosing St. Paul for your children. The trust you've placed in us is not taken lightly. Um, we continue to look for more and better ways to serve our students and to support our families. Uh, this Gateway to College program is an example of that. We, we knew we needed to do something different for some of our students, and here it is, and it's working. Um, so, it, it, you know, it takes a village to raise children. We're really happy to be a part of this. So we're excited to, to see you all receive your diplomas and continue on your journey, and congratulations. Our love and best wishes go with you all. makes me feel powerful, but it's so cool. Um, so I get to confer your diplomas. So by the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota and by the Board of Education of Independent School District number 625, I hereby confer upon each of you the high school, diplo high school diploma with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Our school counselor, Jesse Hass, to present the class of 2018.
Hawkins.
Gao Zhang. Graduate Sierra Shepherd will close out our ceremony. But before I invite Sierra, but before I invite Sierra to the stage, guests, please remain in your seat until after Sierra's marks, remarks and the graduates exit. Once the graduates have exited, you can follow them out for pictures and things in the commons area. Please welcome Sierra. Thank you. 